go and see the world and just show them what it really means to live life golden. Yeah, we'll go. What's going on everybody, Sophisticated here, your resident title trickster, bringing you the latest and greatest biz content there is to offer. If you enjoy what we do on the channel, remember to show your support by subscribing, smashing that like button, and leave a comment to let me know what you think. Without further ado, let's get right into today's gameplay. What's going on guys, Sophisticated here, bringing you another fizz gameplay video. Today we're in the jungle, and we are up against a Lee Sin, pretty uh, meta jungler, and I've been seeing Bard a lot too. Um, I do want to preface this video by saying I am not a jungle main. I guess we, we do have a lot of jungle mains come in and they enjoy the watching the jungle fizz gameplay because it's kind of off meta and you don't really see it that much. But um, if you are a jungle main, you'll probably see a lot of things you don't like. I mean, li the little niches and stuff of the jungle. Um, like I said, I'm a mid slash top main, so I definitely don't main the jungle. But I play it from time to time because you guys seem to really like the fizz jungle gameplays. Um, I don't like him having a ward right there because that means maybe they can come steal this. But we'll see. And, I mean, they're going to be able to see what way I path out to. Alright, so let's just grab that. Grab our W first. I always do W first with Fizz Jungle because it's really your only solid form of wave clear here. And that was a really, really insane leash by my team there. All right, let's see if I can't come get a cheesy little gank on this guy. I like to do this whenever I get a red start. Let's see if he knows, though. He may know. Yeah, let's come up here, then. Should be able to get a really good trade on this guy. Get a nice little chunk onto him. That's going to help Diana a lot. And then what I'm going to do is just pad through here. I'm going to throw a ward down right there. So if Lee Sin tries to invade me at my blue, we'll be able to see him. And that's a very solid chunk. He had to pop one of his pots, and he's still chunked out. All right, let's try and clear this. Lee Sin is a pretty fast uh, clearer in the jungle, so he will be potentially invading us here, either at this or our Gromp. Or our Gromp. I don't want to smite my blue, but I'm going to have to because of Lee Sin invading. And the, the ribbon is coming down as well. I'm just going to walk away. He saw that, I, that my blue is gone. I would like to... Okay, I was about to say, I would like to take this. The... Raptor camp here, or the wolf camp, rather. But I was a little afraid that Lee Sim was going to keep keep up with that invade. Which I'm glad he didn't. The top and jungle enemy are a duo, so I have a feeling they're going to be playing around each other a lot. I'm thinking what I'm going to do here is just take this. Ooh, first blood on the bard. It was pretty close, though. And then we see him right here. I want to take this bottom scuttle. If possible. But we'll see how it goes. I'm not sure how well it'll turn out for us here. Let's go ahead and smite that. Just because I don't want to get super low here. And then I want Thresh to come help me at this uh, scuttle here. Looks like our top lane might be toast. If I can get some help right here, if he can like hook this or something, that'd be really big. Because you do more damage to the Scuttle when it's CC'd. Let's go ahead and use our E. We have a blue buff, so I'm not really worried about like expending a bunch of mana. Plus, you get a bunch back off of the Scuttle if you didn't know that. Alright, so let's just... uh, What I'm going to do is get a quick reset in here. Because I can't really gank... Ooh, no, brother. I can't do that. Not with just me and him. We need Ash for sure. I'm going to come over here and help her. Look for an E onto him. Auto W him. Auto Q him. Auto him again. Nice, and she gets the kill. That's really, really good that I showed up there instead of resetting. Hit her with the little well played. And then I'm going to get a reset in here myself. I, Let me see. Actually, I could probably come down here. I'm going to attempt it. This is a little sketchy. Uh, they're backing off, so I'll just reset here. If they keep pushing, I will go, but I would like to get my tier 2 jungle item here. Or the second component of my jungle item, rather. So let's grab that. Let's grab a pair of boots. And then we'll just head back out. I want to do my Gromp into maybe a top gank. Because that Kiana's doing really well. We'll see how it goes. I tend to stay away from, like, the AoE camps, the Krugs, the Wolves. Because as Fizz, until you get your upgraded jungle item, like your Runic Echoes, you have really, really shitty wave clear in the jungle. 
I'm sure Lee Sin got that scuttle as he padded up to gank that Kiana, so I'm not even really going to waste my time going over there. I'll just pop a pot, because Gromp does kind of chunk you out pretty hard. I don't think Riven's going to be ganking me, or like coming to pressure me in the jungle, because she was super low. But what I'm going to do is probably take this and then look to gank her. Although, I don't think Kiana gets out of this one alive. Because I can't, I can't help her here. Because this guy has Conquer, so I just have to dip out of here. I'm going to flash, because if I don't, he'll kill me. That was just really bad. Kiana shouldn't have been that far extended, honestly. I think what I can do is soak up this wave here, though. Because Kiana has Ignite, so... That was pretty bad. I should have let her aggro me first before Ian. I didn't think she was level 6 there. Little unlucky. I really wish Kiana wouldn't have been, like, stayed in the lane that long. Because it kind of forced me to have to, like, go up there and help her. So I may just leave her to her own devices from now on. She might actually die here again. Yeah, she's trolling. It's a Kiana main, too, which is a little unlucky. I'm just going to use my W to reset on these little raptors. I have to smite that there because I was a little worried that Barb was going to come in through there. But our, um, our Diana's doing really well, so that's good for us. I'll just pop a pot on this. Making sure to use my Q as an auto attack reset as well as my W. So auto Q and then auto W. A little bit of a rough start. I think I just probably should have just let that Kiana die, honestly. That was a smarter play to just let her die. If she had mana, I could have committed and like did a little bit more. But without the mana, like there was really no chance of us actually killing her there. We'll look for an E here. Biggest thing is I'm trying not to get stunned. I have to let them kind of... Uh, I can't believe he got me with that. Our team should clean this up pretty hard, though. Because she's level 7. We could potentially look for an alt there. Nice. This should be a, a big play here. She has alt, so... Ah, uh, she should have used her alt. 100%. Looks like they cleaned it up a little bit, though. Ooh, I don't want that. I want the uh, blue one. There we go. All right, let's grab that, and then let's grab the mana as well. We'll come up here and try to take our blue. But it looks like our team's doing really well. I'm going to see if my team wants to rush this. If we could do this early dragon, that'd be pretty huge. They actually might just get that tower. I'm just going to ask my team to four-man this. Uh, I really want them all to come here. I'm going to definitely tank that for her. Um, we can't, we can't do the dragon anymore. We can't. I'm so low. Actually, we can take her, though. Uh, that's really all I can do. I'm going to throw a ward down there for them. Pretty unlucky right there. Man, this bard is all over the place. If she gets an... I was about to say, if she can get a stun onto her. I'm just going to sit out of vision because I don't want them to know that I'm here. See if I can't throw a play onto this guy. Look for a slow onto him. If not, got some good damage on him. Didn't get to kill myself, but... I was there just in case if anything went we're crazy. I want to take this, but I'm almost 100% positively took this. He should definitely have taken this. Because I showed so many other places. Yeah, there it is. He took it. I'm just going to ask my team to come help me right here. Because he took my blue, so... We could potentially make a play here. I'm going to see if bot will come. Because if bot lane doesn't come, or Diana, like, I'm toast. Guys... Lee Sin's up here. There's no reason we shouldn't take this right now. And Thresh, like, Thresh staying there by himself is so, so bad. He just needs to come over here with us. That, to avoid, like, being all in, all in from their bot lane. 
Nice, all right. She goes and gets a shutdown right there. We should be able to get this pretty easily here. It's a nice early dragon for us. Lee Sin's gonna out farm you. Like this, this is, that's gonna happen as Fish Jungle. You, obviously he has way better wave clear. And honestly, his ganks are way better too. I'm not really worried about fighting this guy. I'm just more so worried about collecting this farm. I need to get level six because I'm a little behind off of that blue buff steal. But that's fine. I just collect this farm. Besides, we got that early dragon, which is really good because Lee Sin should be getting those early dragons. We got a nice early first tower blood. Um, Cassidy's got... Okay, I was about to say Cassidy might be coming down to them. But it looks like Lee Sin is. That's fine. I'm really not that worried about it. Our team is doing pretty well everywhere else on the map. See if they'll help me with this. If we could sneak this, that'd be really big. I'm gonna see if uh, Diana will take this. I need help right here. I need one of these guys to come over here. If Cassidy comes right here, I'll probably be toast because he can smoke me for sure. It's like our bot lane does die. They both might end up going down, to be honest. I want Diana to take this. She's really, really strong. I'm going to let her take it. And then, honestly, what I'm going to do is just come soak this wave here. So it looks like she's going to want to go top and make a play with Kiana, which is good. That's a good play. Diana, right now, is definitely our strongest member. She is, like, 7-0, I think, the last time I looked. So, that's ridiculously strong. We'll just farm up this little bit right here. We'll start leveling our E now. Um, I'm not worried about him being right there. Because we're already so far ahead of him. In terms of, like, objectives. We got two objectives. Got the first dragon. First uh, Rift Herald, which is really, really big. Let's we'll see if we can't come down here and make a play on this. actually backed off so they probably have like some sort of knowledge of us being there all right my red buff is up so i'll just grab that and then probably soak mid lane again if uh Di diana doesn't go over there and i have my alt too so with diana we could definitely look for a kill onto her all right lee sin's up there by his blue buff i'm just gonna smite this actually maybe not i don't really need to i can just work it down and then i can uh look for a smite on these Hit an E right here. I'll smite that. Get my W reset. Looks like they are getting a teleport in there. I'm going to attempt to come help this. I'm coming. I have my ult. Nice. Really good ult by her. And my ult hit her too, which is perfect. We just run over here to Diana. And then we can come back into the fight. This should be a kill for sure. Nice, I'm coming for this. I'm gonna flash onto him for the slow, for the auto. Nice, for the red buff. And this should lead right into a Drake, probably. My team, nice, oh my goodness. My team is smurfing. Pog. My team is absolutely smurfing. All right, so we're picking up a, a bunch of assists here. No kills, but hey, that's what a jungler's meant to do, honestly. You are the facilitator. How I like to say, the facilitator. All right, let's get a reset in, because we do have this up. We have a super, super strong mid, so we'll grab this. And then let's just grab... I was about to say... Yeah, let's just grab a Sheen. Actually, no, this is the better play. Grab that, a Control Ward, and a Sweeper. The better jungle play. I'll let my uh, my mid lane know that she can take that blue buff whenever she wants. It's, it's going to be way, way, way better on her than me. She's freaking 10 kills, 3 assists. Like, she is insanely strong right now. All right, I don't want to place my control ward until my team comes back into the lane. Because with if I place it there, obviously they can just converge on me. Actually, might be able to kill this idiot. I'm going to walk up right here. Let's see if he comes through here. If he comes through here, I should be able to kill him here. I'm going to dodge his E right there. Get a slow on him. Nice. Perfect. So we take out the Riven. I do see Lee Sin right here. 
but we we easily can take this dragon now because they're one man down she should be able to kill that by herself but i'm still gonna walk over here and help her now i'm looking for her, this guy if possible um i'm gonna come over here and we just take the drake should be pretty free we've got two picks already i have a control ward and i have smite and my bot lane just took the tower <laughs> bard saying gg i agree there it is boys a little quick but that's what happens when you facilitate your teammates we'll take it after action after this boys all right guys this is the after action for the game we just played against that lee sin in the jungle so starting from my top laner we had a level 27 in the top lane and this was a kiana main i'm sure that like this is probably just she, she's either leveling up an account and she's a smurf or yeah that's got to be the only case because she had like seventy thousand points on kiana and her name is like a ranker kiana um I'm sitting at gold four. We're at 73 LP. I played a couple ranked games today. Uh, the first game I played, I had a really troll team comp, so I didn't pick Fizz. I had a tank fid fiddle top who had never played fiddle before. And then I had a Garen jungle, which that's not too crazy, but still, even that. I mean, I did. The guy didn't look like he played a lot of Garen jungle. And then, like, uh, I had a Caitlyn that really didn't play Caitlyn either. So I decided to play not play Fizz. But then I queued up again and I got uh fizz got banned so i played mordekaiser mid ended up winning that so we're at 73 lp and we're getting like 26 lp for per win so i'm hoping maybe if we win this next game since it'll be two wins in a row we'll get 27 lp and get into our gold three promos that would be the dream anyways uh our mid laner was sitting at platinum one and shout out to this guy i mean look at it i mean honestly if you just watch the game his gameplay speaks for itself along with the damage charts we had a diamond two in the adc role and a diamond four support and my team played really, really well, honestly. The um the only problems that we had was early game where Kiana, she stayed in the lane a little bit too long. I think she should have got a reset in a little earlier. And then I kind of baited myself in because I didn't want to just let her die. Uh, You never just want to let your teammates die, right, in the back of your mind. You're like, oh, I don't want to make it look like I didn't even try to help her. But looking back on it now, she had no mana. She really couldn't have done anything. If she had mana, that would have been a very fightable, you know I mean, very, like, winnable fight but with me and her 2v2. And because she, uh, imagine she just gets a stun, right? Stuns both of them. I'm able to work down the lease in a little bit. Then she can also get the grass root and kind of, you know I mean, play around and bait them out. Uh, but she had no mana, so she was basically just auto attacking. And, and then I baited myself, ended up getting my flash, and then getting smoked under tower. Which the getting smoked under tower wasn't her fault. I easily could have just walked away. But I did not realize that the ribbon was level six. And you know, I mean, knowing the prior knowledge that these two were duo, because I did look these guys up. These guys were duo. Um, I should have known like they were going to coordinate a dive on me. And then as for the actual dive itself, what I could have did, looking back on it is I preemptively used my E before the Riven even got tower aggro. So what I should have did is let her hit me with like an auto or even her stun. And then I should have like auto Q through her and then E, you mean drop like, so that way she would have tanked more tower shots. Whereas, you mean, she got away with, I think if one more tower shot hit her, she would have died. But you mean, I E preemptively before she even took tower aggro. So that was definitely my fault. Um, other than that, it was, it was a fantastic game. We showed up like... This chick did really, really well, right? 12 0 and 3. But to be fair, we facilitated her pretty hard. We went mid level 2, got a super hard chunk on Cassidy. And then after that, what was it? Uh, her first kill, we actually facilitated her. If we wouldn't have showed up 1000%, she would have died there. Um, because she was, I think she got Cassidy's flash. So Cassidy wasn't able to fight against her, but she was like half health. And then Lee Sin hit a Q on her, went in on her. I just happened to be in the area because I stopped my back. I E. Hit him with a auto W, and then she lived literally by one auto. So I think if I wouldn't have showed up there, she would have died. She probably still would have played really well because she had a, you know, I mean, look at her 12 0 and 3. But, you I mean, that was the start of the snowball. And then we we positioned ourselves around her multiple times too, like the second kill or that bard fight where I was fighting bard. She ended up getting a kill on bard there, and then I think she actually got another kill either on Lee Sin or Cassidy in a, right after that, which uh, resulted in them getting full, a full five plates from that tier one mid so yeah i mean she did really really well but we did facilitate her pretty hard um we didn't get any kills this game it was zero two and seven but when you're going up against a meta jungler like lee sin he's able to clear really fast his ganks are really strong um and he can invade you too he did choose to invade us at level two luckily we were able to get that blue buff before he realized and then he decided against like hard invading but yeah it was a, it was a pretty good game overall it was just not too bad so starting from the enemy top, they had a gold one in the top lane, a level 82 uh, ninja god. I would assume that it's, he's a Lee Sin made with that name. 
They had a level 28 in the mid lane, platinum four, both in the ADC and support role. And I've been seeing Bard a lot. I think Bard is extremely strong with the the uh, Omni Stone. I saw him in, I think, both of my ranked games, honestly, today. Uh, I played against a Bard, and then I had a Bard on my team. Um, yeah, I think Bard's really, really strong. And this, if Cassidy would have scaled, Cassidy also is, a, is like a really, really strong champ. Very, very strong. So I'm glad we were able to shut them out and kind of break their wills. Because if not, they were they were pretty scaly. Caitlyn scales really well. She does a lot of damage. Bard scales pretty hard. And Cassidy's like, you know what I mean, one of the hardest scalers. So, um, yeah, glad we had, were able to get the win pretty short time. We had a really nice mid laner to help, you know what I mean, help with that, facilitate. And we got, but to be fair, we got the objectives too over this guy. We got, what was it, two dragons on him and the Rift Herald. So, you know what I mean, we, we beat him down in terms of jungling and we're not even a jungle main. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you haven't yet, sub to the channel. It really does help, and we'd love to have you here. If you want to see anything in the future in specific, let me know in the comments section below. All right, hope to see you guys on the next video.